Golian Harbour could be Ireland's premier eco-accommodation experience and learning centre. Hi, my name's Matt Mills and welcome to Golian Harbour. We're going to go on a little walk of the site and we're going to tell you all about the plans that we have. This is our first eco cabin that I designed and built a couple of years ago. It was actually being immensely successful. There's been 80, 85% less in this first couple of years, which is about double than Apple average for self-catering. We're going into production with these. Um, very, very similar design, just refined a bit. We're going to have two more of these above in the field and also two smaller ones, a different design. The cabin sleeps five people with a double bedroom a bed city and a kids sleeping platform which they love above the kitchen area all fitted within 23 and a half square meters. We can supply these to other companies under the name ecocabin.ie. Come and take a look around the back. This is our gorgeous harbour garden, which I can't take the credit for. It's nearly all the work of my partner, Manly. Let me show you an example of the accommodation that we have at the moment, our harbour garden bow tent. So Melanie is also a massage therapist and body worker who has been on her own journey recovering from Lyme disease and has done so quite successfully. She wants to build a, a treatment studio here which will have a space for massage and also an infrared sauna in it. So we're really lucky in this position here. Our entrance is literally 500 yards from Goline High Street and the Wild Atlantic Way. Perfectly located. So this is the rock I came to when I first had the ideas about the project. And this will be the first hot tub spot. What could be better? Looking out here under the stars. So just around the corner there, I showed you the first two geodome spots for the big geodomes. This will be the third one. This one is far more sheltered. They'll be seven meter wide, these geodomes, big, big spaces. And they'll be set up like four star hotel bedrooms with built in kitchens and bathroom pods in nature, overlooking this wonderful view with big windows and skylights for the dark skies at night. I'm walking now into the what will be the shower and toilet block for the campsite and the laundry and plant room and as I turn left here this L-shaped section up here will be the eating and socializing space with a deck all around it and panoramic views out to Fastnet. We expect weddings to be a big part of our business and we have plenty of potential for a stretch tent to be pitched over there and we'll have a fire area there where we can all gather around for some music. So this is the fast net camping field. In here we'll have 16 pitches for guest tents. We will have our own bell tents, furnished and unfurnished. Our first two cabin sites. The first one will be just here, like the cabin we saw in the harbour garden. Then the second one looking directly out at fast net. And we will also have two more in this field. So that'll be four cabins, three geodones, pre pitch bell tents, 16 pitch campsite, and another two A-frame pods which are currently designing. So we'll be able to cater for up to 100 people. The number one priority for everything we do here at Golene Harbour is the environment and the biodiversity of the surrounding area. Here we've planted eight acres of native woodland. There's almost 10,000 trees that have gone in over the last four years, including species such as birch, sessile oak, Alder you can see there, 
Hazel, Hawthorn, Rowan, and many other species that will create a fantastic habitat for migrating seabirds and is already becoming a nature reserve. So this is an area we've identified for an outdoor classroom area for teaching kids. Here we have nearly every tree species, including the cherry here. Bird boxes, bat boxes further down. That gorgeous waterfall that you can hear trickling away. And the gunnera plant, which looks like a prehistoric plant that kids are always love. So we're going to have some amphitheatre seating here and we'll teach people here. Just here to the left, we left a wide space in the planting for an outdoor archery range, which will have to be netted each side, but lovely spot to shoot some arrows. So we really do want to be a green flagship project here. So we're going to live within our own energy and nutrient cycle by using an anaerobic digester to produce biogas from our own organic waste and waste silage to heat and power the whole campsite and provide compost for our growing. A boy is born in Hartown, Mississippi. So we've been producing uh, organically grown vegetables here at Golean Harbour for a number of years. I am a farmer and we are registered equine premises. So you've seen a bit of activity here on the side, a bit of kayaking, a bit of cycling. We're very much aware that people don't just want to do straight kayaking or sea kayaking lessons anymore. What they want is experiences. So for instance, we're going to offer experiences where you can moonlit paddle to a beach where you'll have a cook up of local seafood and a beach camp and then a paddle back in the morning rather than just a kayaking lesson. This is what people are looking for. So I'm really looking forward to doing some week-long gatherings here where people can come and get out of our accommodation, but also including the ticket price. They'll be doing activities from baking sourdough bread to sea kayaking experiences to kids, kids making teepees they can take home with them, or maybe even, even deeper green things like green building projects and forestry projects, and then hanging out around the fire at night with some live music or even some DJs. So something that we're very keen to help with here at Golian Harbour is the mental health crisis, the youth mental health crisis we have. We want to create a space where people in trauma can come and just be and just relax. Maybe after a few days they'll pick up a fork and help in the garden, or maybe they won't. It doesn't matter. They'll just be, just to recover. We're also very aware within our own families that there is no place for parents with kids who have autism or mental health problems to go on retreat in this country, to actually get some respite. We would like this place to be such a place in the off season. It's so badly needed. I hope you enjoyed that exciting journey around Golene Harbour. If you want to continue on that journey, we're looking for investors to help us with match finance. Get in touch, send an email to matt at goleneharbour.ie.